15, let's switch gears, get over to Peyton. All right, thanks, Leslie. As we've been talking about, we do have a name storm in the Gulf that usually gets us a little nervous around here, but we're not expecting any big impacts from this one. It's currently heading into Texas. So here's what we are watching. It's known as Tropical Storm Harold. It's heading into extreme southern Texas right now. It'll make landfall later this morning. No big local impacts here. The only thing we're going to watch is a little breeze today. Hot, mostly dry, maybe an isolated shower, but most of us stay dry, and that doesn't mean our fire danger still exist. So that's what we're mainly watching is that risk for wildfires again and our intense heat. I have us at 98 tomorrow and then look at that record heat tomorrow and Thursday. In fact, not only record heat, but all time record heat tomorrow could be the hottest day that we want have ever seen on record. The current record is 102 and we may get close to tying that some spots 103 to 105 tomorrow, especially north of the lake. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Herald. It's about 400 miles away from New Orleans. It's about 150 miles off the coast of Texas, where it's going to make landfall near Port Mansfield later on this morning. So here you can see already getting some outer bands and some rain and gusty winds from Corpus Christi down to Brownsville. This corridor is where most of the rain is going to fall. So unfortunately for drought stricken Texas, most of you are not going to be lucky enough to get the rain. It's going to be mainly here in South Texas. There's also going to be a few spots that do get those tropical storm force winds. You can see in yellow far enough away from the cone and maybe up through Corpus Christi getting some of those gustier winds. I do think it's going to strengthen a little bit more, maybe more like a 50 to 60 mile per hour tropical storm as it makes landfall probably before noon today and then it quickly dissipates as it moves over the higher terrain in extreme northern Mexico. Elsewhere in the tropics, we got them lined up from Harold to Franklin to Gert and then Invest 92 here. That is at least a chance of becoming a system, but Franklin is the next one that's going to have an impact on land. This is going to be mainly for the Dominican Republic. It's slowly starting to make its turn to the north only at three miles an hour right now and it could strengthen some more as it makes that northern turn up towards the Dominican Republic. So landfall here is probably going to be more around uh, later on Tuesday into Wednesday could be looking at a landfall in the Dominican Republic and then up into the Atlantic it goes as it uh, could re-strengthen some. So we'll be watching this mainly for the Dominican Republic here. Puerto Rico will see some gusty winds and some rain and maybe two to four inches, but really the heaviest rain, the flooding threat will be most prominent over the Dominican Republic and then meandering Bermuda. Needs to keep an eye on this into next week. So now that we've gone through four names in about 24 to 36 hours, Adelia is the next one on the list, and then after that, it's Jose and Katia is the case storm this year. Our heat ridge in control at least through the weekend, but there are some signs next Monday and Tuesday it starts to break down. Now, unfortunately, the thing I don't like about this pattern is if, big if, something were to try to get going in the tropics down here in the Caribbean or Southern Gulf, this is the type of pattern that would actually pull it to the north. Now, where to the north at all? depends on so many things, but with that ridge breaking down, it's not going to be able to block anything from coming to the northern Gulf Coast if there were to be anything. So we'll need to keep an eye on maybe parts of this basin, the Caribbean, the Gulf into next week. But for the next seven days, we at least don't have to worry about any tropical impacts. It's really just that intense heat. 102 to 101 near 100 on Friday and then near 100 for the upcoming weekend as we stay right near 100. So there's no big relief coming for at least the next seven days, but maybe next Tuesday, Wednesday, it'll be more normal. We'll have the low 90s or mid 90s with some storms around uh, as we head into the end of August and early September. Can you believe it? We're nearly September. Seven day forecast. There you have it. 98 today, 102 tomorrow. Tomorrow's high could break or tie the all time hottest temperature ever recorded out at the airport. That was on this day in 1980, August 22nd. There's your marine forecast. A little breezy today with the chop. That chop starts to relax some as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. And there's your high tides. High tides are happening this morning. Your low tides are going to happen later on this afternoon.